Hi everyone, it's M and D. Uh, we're doing a quick coffee review of the Tesco's finest um, Sumatra Mandelin coffee. Right, number so five. yeah, number five, not number four, <laughs> number six. Yeah, number five. Right, it's a single origin. Um, it's meant to have quite a sweet and earthy um, taste. So. Sumatra is part of Indonesia um, and I can tell you a little bit about these types of beans. Um, they're meant to be yeah, quite earthy and sweet. So they're grown on the Indonesian island of Sumatra. A mandolin is known much for its smooth full body um, as its rich complex taste. So um, it's got a very herbal aroma apparently um, and the acidity in it kind of makes it quite a vibrant and lively coffee. Um, oh, and apparently it, exhibits, it often exhibits tones of licorice and chocolate, which are two of my favourite things. Uh, so I'm quite looking forward to this. Um, and because of the climate and the soil, so I think the soil over um, in Sumatra in uh, Indonesia is very rich soil. Yeah, volcanic, isn't it? Yeah, so you'll get that richness come into the coffee itself. What about the altitude? Um, altitude, so it's grown at altitudes of 750 to 1500 metres above sea level. So again, it's okay. kind of getting to that. Yes. So remember when we spoke in quite... Yes a while yeah, ago yeah. in our videos It grows before, slower and has better yeah, taste. Yeah, it's got a richer um, taste. Probably a bit more fruity. I would say it'll have a fruity taste as well. I'm, mm. I'm guessing. Yeah. Dependent on the roast. Um, this roast is... Let's have a look. I don't think it actually tells you what the roast is. Strength 5. Um, so yeah, it doesn't say what the roast is. We'll find that out in a minute. So it is it. Arabica or is it? It's so Arabica. It's an Arabica bean. Um, so uh, the re region is Batak region of West Central Sumatra. Um, <clears throat> the Arabica variety, it says, it's the Typica one. So um, that's the Catimor. It's called Catimor Typica. So do you remember we spoke about the yes, Typica Yes, I remember as well. the cat. Yeah. Um, and it's sun dried and wet hulled as well that's the process that it goes through um, and the milling uh, the, sorry the aroma itself is slightly earthy apparently so it keeps going back to that earthy taste so it mm -hmm. might be I it sounds like it might be quite a strong yeah yeah it coffee, is among the stronger um, full bodied herbal chocolatey clean earthy woody notes and spicy apparently yeah. Java so is in Indonesia isn't it so oh, the, so the name really of coffee Java itself came from oh, the beans coming from there a bit okay. like the mocha Yep, yep. Uh, the story of Mocha. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so the <clears throat> coffee itself is named after North Sumatra, the North Sumatra Mandalin people. Mm. So rather than a region, it's named after an actual group of people, an mm, ethnic mm. group, um, which is quite nice, I guess. Yes. Um, <clears throat> so it's probably mortalised. Have you have yourself immortalised in a coffee like that? Um, and again, these are kind of. Um, Farmer friendly, um, ethically so, sourced beans. So, um, are we, good that it's sticking with that. Are <laughs> we appropriating their coffee then? No, I don't think that they're going to be selling it. I don't yeah. think that they've got a bit of money. Um, so, <clears throat> I don't think I've got anything to add to that. Okay, let's try um, and taste it. Yeah, we'll go for it now. Brilliant. I'm really looking forward to this. So before we do start, Dee, can I just ask, you've got 227 grams, which is the normal eight, eight ounces. Eight ounces, yeah. So what was the cost of that? Uh, three fifty, I think. Okay, so that's not a bad price, is it? No. Um, so usually what we do is look at the packaging, but it's their finest packaging. Yeah. And that's it's quite okay. Probably 329 Okay, that's good. So the packaging's fine. These beans were actually packaged in October. Oh no, they can be, sorry, they're best before October um, 2021. But so, a year? Yeah. No, they'll go woody. Well, I would think it wouldn't be that great. I wouldn't, yeah, no, I wouldn't wait a year before you open the <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. They've probably been sat somewhere in some port somewhere for about six months. Yeah, but that's over. that's before it's roasted. But once you roast it, yeah, that is, uh, yeah. you know, Sorry. in theory you can keep it. Mm -hmm. So as usual, we kind of go by the packaging, don't we? So the packaging is just your average packaging. Yeah, there's some, no special there's some diagram that says how to open it. Yeah. Use the tab to reclose it, Lee. Is that the tab? Mm. the tab at the back. I think that's the tab at the front. Mm. I'm not going to get too technical. Right, so what I'm going to do next is the Emma opening test. Not too bad. Mm. Not that impressed. It's just a resealed tab one. But then maybe that's just me being slightly snobby. <laughs> um, yeah, you're right, so it's a nice roast, oh, it dark roast, oily, uh, like we'd expect from that earthy, strong kind of coffee, isn't it? Yes. So we're um, going to grind it now. Um, Dee, could you just check that that's on the correct grind that uh, we normally no, use? No, it's, it's not. It's, um, it's on our uh, light roast. Okay, so let's get that to the correct. Once I did, it's very like that. Okay. Well done. Thank you, Anne. Thanks for all the It's been really good, actually. It's got a lovely aroma. Sorry. Mm. I'd have a look. It smells really earthy. Oh, wonderful. Yeah. That's uh, that intense but very right. pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> I think that might be a good one. Okay. It's going to grind it. It'll be loud for a minute, guys. Oh, the dark. That's quite dark. Look at that. That's quite rich. Yes, yes. So yeah. It reminds you of red wine. Yeah, it's quite a strong one, that one. I'll just do it over here. Right, so that's all done. Ready for the pour. Ah, there we go. Nice, nice pour. Okay. So not the creme is not as rich as it normally is, but it's nice. So mm. It's not bad. Yes, you do yes. that. Yeah. It sticks nicely to the side. Yeah. Not that that's any real test of it, but so let's have a sniff. Well, that smells quite potent actually, yes, doesn't yeah. it, Marie? You can tell it'll be a strong coffee. It's gonna be strong. It's woody. I don't know if it's really going to be that fruity or not. No, it's um, earthy, it's very earthy and reminds you of forests. Mm. 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 I think we could grind it a bit finer. I don't know, I think that's... Is it just right? It's okay, I'm going to take another one and just hold it in my mouth. could do with a bit more is it um it's very earthy yeah but i would say i'm as you know d and as mm. we know we like a medium yeah roast so that's a bean that's not as as heavily roasted as this one. yes however out of the stronger beans that we've had mm. this one's quite nice yes I've Would got a agree? nice aftertaste yeah. in my mouth. It's a sweet after. Actually, my mouth feels sweet. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. So it's got a really pleasant aftertaste. It's not that burnt. No, no, no. Charcoal. It hasn't taste got that any defects. Get. No, no. It's um, that's actually very nice. Mm. It's very nice as a coffee if you just want to kind of relax and have something that you're savouring rather than a quick coffee to perk you up. Yes. Uh, this would be a nice coffee to have to actually relax with and sip yeah. and hold in your mouth and really enjoy the tastes. And if you're making any um, any sweets, like, you know, you can imagine this with a bit of sugar, like tiramisu, yeah, this coffee tiramisu. will really explode and yeah. be nice there. Irish coffee, anything like that. Anything, any French coffee press, cocktail, maybe. this will be great. Mm. So actually, as far as a strong coffee goes, the... Yes. the more than a medium yeah. this is really nice i yes. can i can kind of 
I can taste that dark chocolate that they're saying, you know, like a cocoa. Yes, yes. Taste. That's the yeah. taste. That's the kind of aftertaste you get. Is this cocoa? Yes. Chocolatey cocoa. Nice. I think they're quite accurate on how they're describing mm. it on the packet. So if that was going on the leaderboard, because it's it's not so strong, it's making me buzzy. And that's the thing I, I like. know, it's, it's got a pleasant aftertaste yeah. and um, it's left uh, a overall nice feel. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I think as far as the leaderboard goes, that would be in the top 15, do you think? Yeah, it, yes, that is true because yeah. it's got a very clean, nice um, taste. Yeah, and that's nice good taste, no defects. Uh, it's a strong coffee. Yeah. So among the strong coffees, it's from one of the you know better strong yeah, coffees. Yeah. I can't think of. Uh, it's it's not a natural process, so it's not got that typical uh, fruity you yeah, know. That fruity yeah, that's, that's not what comes to mind. What comes no. to mind is like the unsweetened cocoa, that sort of you yeah, know. Yeah, quite a nice uh, yeah. raw yeah. Yeah. taste, but not. It's pleasant. It's yes, really nice. Yes, very grounded so, but nice. Good. That's a really good one. With a sweet aftertaste. Yeah. So, yeah, I think that one definitely, yeah, it's for packaging, a, it's middle of the road, um, for the actual quality and the taste of the bean. Quality out of ten, I'd give about an eight. Yes. And um, the taste, I'd give a nine. I'd give it oh, a good excellent. nine out of ten. Oh, that's ten. a kind of a new thing you've started there. So you've started well. to... <laughs> that comes naturally, isn't it? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. we kind of feel it somewhere between 15 uh, and uh, maybe... 15 and 17 on the leaderboard yeah, I have yeah, to see yeah. what it knocks off but um, it's there nice. it's in the top 20 yeah definitely definitely yeah that's nice and it's got a very typical taste it does and, lovely um, aroma yeah I think most people have really enjoyed that so yeah, yes get your chops around the Sumatra mandolin <coughs> delish thanks Anne. lovely alright cheers bye bye see you next time thank you bye